Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, this, as you may notice, is a slightly different episode. Um, in this episode, we're going to be building. This is a, actually, let me get rid of this slime real quick. Alright, um, this is a creative mode, like a fly sort of thing. Um, I'm making sort of a race for the wool map, except it's jukebox records instead of wools. And, uh, it's class based. So let me introduce you to the four different classes. Uh, this is Tank. Uh, his, he's the leader and um, his job is basically to kill the enemy. That's, he's a hunter killer dude. He goes out there, he kills people, he leads a team, he does the most of the push. He is the most heavily armored and yeah, that sort of stuff. Uh, this is Scout. Scout is kind of the guy that's supposed to go explore the map once there is a map as you can see there isn't much right now. It, it, I, I need to use MC Edit eventually, but I'm waiting for a cool version of MC Edit to be made that isn't that is supported in 1.2.4. But yes, anyway, uh, I made most of this in 1.2.3. 1.2.4's editions are like as of today, so I haven't actually upgraded like the sandstone yet, although I haven't playing with it. Uh, no, I don't like that. Let me get the other sandstone. Let's just lose sandstone. See, that's better. Or, um, anyway, um, so his job is to explore and get resources, etc. Uh, this is Specialist. He's in charge of offensive redstone. Um, his job is to build cannons and brew potions. And he does, yeah, cannons and potions. Uh, this is Guardian. His job is to uh, lay traps, like uh, put TNT traps, or, well, not really TNT, it's more fire charges and dispensers and arrows and such and such, and pressure plates and fun stuff. Uh, and then tend the base. We're going to uh, take a look at Scout, because that's the one that's finished right now. Uh, when the team is ready, the tank is supposed to flip the switch that ignites this, and will ignite the, uh, will ignite this on the other team. This is always ready, because there's... Let me out. Let me out. Thank you. Ah, no, 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 don't. Oh, well. Well, um, as there's this, it's just an AND gate right now. But eventually, I will probably expand this out some. This will be further away from the base. It won't be like this. Quite like this. Alright, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Push you. Let's just push you back. Alright, so. There we go. And we ride the mine carts down. This is going to be filled in so you don't see my redstone. This is going to look prettier. You're not going to see that dirt there either. Let me get thrown up and boop. We get out. Need that there. Here's our chest. Actually, where's our chest? This is our chest. So here's the scout's gear. He has um, leather armor, some stakes, some leather. Some spare leather for more armor in case this one breaks. A bottle of enchanting so you can enchant something. It's like five levels. Um, uh, six stacks of torches. I know. Potion of swiftness, speed two. A splash potion of poison. Uh, empty bucket, wood, two ender pearls, fishing rod, flint and steel, diamond tools, all efficiency three. And then uh, power three bow and two stacks of arrows and a stone sh sword, sharpness two. Because his job is to kind of not get into combat. He's supposed to explore, not attack. Fix this. There we go. Uh, that's basically all the doors are one way. If you die, you're supposed to sleep in that bed. And if you die, that's how you uh, will respawn. So all of them are eventually going to look like this. As you can see, right now, they don't. So you're supposed to sleep in this bed. Assuming it's nighttime, otherwise you'll spawn back at the base. And you may notice that when I did this, the minecart's gone. That's because, I don't know if you're going to see it. That pops up. I can stop finding pressure plates, piston ignites right here. And also, this track is uh, turned on, so the minecart goes back down the track. Um, all of them do that. So let's move on to the next person on our list. 
Uh, who is this? I believe this is Specialist. Uh, no, this is Guardian. Guardian. Uh, di golden Armor. I know. Even Respiration on the helmet. Probably get rid of that. Um, and then Diamond Ho. He has kind of a boring job. I need to make him... I need to make him more exciting. I don't know what to do with him, really. Um, pistons, redstone, pressure plates, torches, more uh, redstone torches, splash potions of poison, buttons, redstone repeaters, cobwebs, buckets, iron tools, bane of anthropods. I know, I gave him all the crappy stuff. I'll upgrade it in, um, in like inventory, inventory edit or something. But, yeah. So, I do believe his also works. Yes. It's just the same thing. And uh, next one. This is Tank. Tank has uh, uh, iron armor, uh, eight pieces of bread, three potions of regeneration, three potions of strength, golden apple, a uh, potion of swiftness, splash potion of poison, two stacks, of, two stacks of torches, flint and steel, and then golden tools, and a sharpness three diamond sword. Power 4, Punch 2, Bow, and 3 stacks of arrows. Uh, lava Bucket. He's basically in charge of attacking people. His job will be uh, attack. And then, let's see here. We have... Seen you. Oh, here we haven't seen you. Uh, this is Specialist. He has chain, uh, chain Mail Armor. It's going to be all Protection 3. I'm going to get rid of that. Project, project all Protection. Um... His inventory isn't as organized because I got screwed up somehow when I was placing things, so his stuff isn't quite as organized as it should be. So let's uh, do this, and where should another one go? Here. Huh, wait, where does everything go? Alright, let's, let's move. Golden. What am I doing? Here. But, uh, yeah, redstone, torches over here, buttons over here, redstone, over here, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I had it all nicely organized, then I moved the chest, and uh, now it's not organized anymore. So that's that's the important importance of organization. And uh, when you do reorganize things, make sure you reorganize them correctly. Huh. That'll work, I suppose. Oh, wait, this goes. But then, let's put the. What should we use? Let's put TNT here. Then we can put redstone repeaters there. Alright, that works. Um, so, yeah, anyway, uh, chainmail armor, then melon, glass uh, potion stuff, uh, melons for food stores, and golden nuggets to make listering melons for. Um, potion to regeneration, uh, sugar for potions of swiftness, uh, stone tools, and an iron sword. Yep, typical. I don't know what to do with this. Um, typical stuff, thingamajiggers. Uh, Chainmail armor, if you don't know, is better than gold armor. It's more, it's like gold armor, but it's more durable, essentially. It's better than leather, better than gold, but not as good as iron. I didn't give anyone diamond armor because diamond ar armor would be kind of overpowered, I feel. Um, there will be three records. Each team will have uh, unique records. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to put the record monument yet. I originally had them right here, there, and oh, right in the center here, and over here, but now, as you can see, that's something different. And up here we have... I don't know if I like that either, but so I need to replace that. I don't. I don't like that uh, obsidian right there. It needs to be like consistent throughout. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Also, it's getting thinner. The tower gets thinner as it goes up. But I'll probably put the a monument up here or something. Yeah. I, I think this is where I was going to put the monument before I got sidetracked, whatever I got sidetracked with. 
So it'll be like a record monument here, another record monument up here, and then a third one over here. And then there will be probably bridges. I need to get rid of this. Uh, this is gonna. This is designed to put for uh, water. Or uh, you put down. Where's water buckets? Water buckets. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Put down water. You get. Uh, you can start farming right here. I might expand this out a little bit just because. As it stands, it's kind of. I feel bad for them. <laughs> um, yeah, th this is going to go to whoa frame rate drop. Uh, this is going to go to a uh, end themed area. It's going to be a uh, branch across. It's going to journey out towards something that's not the end, but feels like it's uh, towards the end, going to the end. Then this way, I believe, will either be the actual Nether. Or, like I might put a Nether portal right here. Or it feels like the Nether. I think it might be too close for another portal. I don't know. Uh, it might be too close to the enemy team for another portal. They might come out of the same portal. I I I I'm not sure how Nether portal physics work, but I do know they're kind of wonky at times. I would need to, I would need probably to inset it as well. Oops. Oh, the bottom looks, looks different too. Oh, well, I'm going to need to replace all of this with that. Oops. Well, that's good to know. I didn't know it, the bottom looked different. It's nice. I wonder how the different other ones uh, bottom look. So yes, anything else? Oh, uh, so this is either going to be uh, another portal or it's going to be an area like this that's just themed like the nether. And then like, I don't know, I might like put a fake nether portal. And then just have them uh, journey through it. This will, but that will allow them to like, place water and stuff. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what to do over there yet. And then um, this way is going to be, what's this way going to be? I think this way it's just going to be a normal uh, mine area. It's going to be themed like a, an abandoned mine shaft. So, uh, yeah, there are going to be like cave spider spawners. It's just going to be themed like a giant abandoned mine shaft. So, yes, uh, allow me to get to work. So, I've begun work on uh, converting this into a jukebox monument for Ward. And, uh,. I never really took into consideration the fact that this needs to be asymmetrical in order for the jukebox monument to be centered. Because it's not symmetrical at all. Well, rather, it is symmetrical. And I have no room. I, it looks wrong if I don't make it symmetrical. I've done what I could. I've done what I could. But um, you can see that what I'm thinking about doing for the jukeboxes. I might actually lower it one if I can find a jukebox again. I I wish there was like a uh, text search thing where you like you could type in the name of a block and it'll find it for you. But yeah you just put board in there and it plays it. And I'm, a, I'm gonna hook it up to a block update detector which will light up a um, actually you know, probably light up a uh, some of these, if I can find them. Lamps, redstone lamps, if I can find any. Which I cannot. Where are they? Oh, there they are. I'll divide up these. But again, this asymmetrical almost pissed me off. So, yeah, I'll um, do some more work. I haven't done anything else, really. So, and then, uh, let you know, let bring you guys back in when things are happening that I have comments about. I fixed it. I'm so smart. Look at that. So asymmetrical. I just added an extra block right there. All I needed to do. 
Alright, so I've made uh, a simple block update protector right here by my nether portal, which is all the way over here. This is obviously not going to be the playable area of the map. You can delete all this and MC at it eventually. But what this does is if there is a block that's updated around the piston, the piston will activate. So, right here. Um, but anyway. And uh, this has a built in T flip flop, which you will see. There's our T flip flop right there. Because what happens is that this will transfer power to this block, which in turn powers this. And the piston can't decide whether it should be powered or unpowered. It's kind of weird the way Minecraft handles things sometimes. But this is going to detect what happens when we place a record. So hold on, let me get a record set up and I'll show you what happens. Alright, so here we are. We uh, put a jukebox next to it. And uh, whenever we play any music now... That, that happens. So, there we go. Uh, all this is, is basically it's a redstone torch down here, which is, w without this redstone torch, uh, it won't work. Well, it will work, but uh, you need to put power to this first, and uh, keep it powered. And then I believe, that's not how it is. I, I had it working without the T-flip pop earlier, and now I can't get it to work again. But um, anyway, basically all you need to do is... This is a pretty simple circuit, actually. Just a uh, redstone repeater with four pieces of redstone. I got off the Minecraft wiki. And uh, self-explanatory. So, yeah. Alright, so now we've got a uh, block, update block update detector hooked up behind here. Here's the main block update, block update detector, or bud. Here's the main bud. I'm just going to call it bud because it makes me laugh. Um, and this goes to the... This is just... Uh, Redstone torch hooked up to the, uh, or rather, a in redstone inverter hooked up to just this uh, wire right here, which powers uh, these. So, basically, that's how it works. And this will also go to a, another power, uh, uh, rather, this line is going to split off into another one that will go up. But we go like this. And it'll just spiral up to the very top of the tower, where it uh, where it will hook into, oops, uh, where it will hook into uh, one of these up the very top of the tower. So to show the other team exactly how far progress has been made on gathering the records. And I do think that we're out of time for this episode. So I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a good day. See you next time, guys.